as was narrated by many of them, were related to small pieces of land which became big hurdles, causing a lot of inconvenience to the people. So the seriousness of the issue was not lost at all on any of us. But the fact remained that the state government had to exchange equal value land for every bit that we were giving. Otherwise, by the rules of the government, I couldn't have given the land. And when this issue of Bengaluru suffering because of major projects which are remaining incomplete, sometimes I feel, as a member of parliament from here, I feel it pains me to know, and I was telling this to the chief minister, bridges are built, they are completely done, almost completely done, but they can't land the other end. Whoever would imagine that a city like Bengaluru, which is in the global map, global leaders less, less, refer to Bengaluru because of the great achievements of the city. But who would ever imagine that a public road work, which has a bridge which is connecting from one end of the road to the other, will stay not knowing where it has to land? I was astonished to see this because the place where it had to land was a small piece of land which belonged to the defense ministry. I would have thought permissions would have been obtained even earlier. I am not blaming anybody. But the fact remains such incongruous way in which all of us have, you know, assumed. And I'm not blaming anyone, but if you have assumed that this is how bridges can be built, roads can be built, many things remain incomplete. But when this was brought out by PC Mohan, our MP, Sadanand Gaudaji, and later also when the Chief Minister was really, really depressed, he said, what is going on? Why can't we get this land? After all, Bangalore has to develop. And together with that, the other roads about which even uh, the former mayor, mayor spoke very elaborately. So 12 of these projects are simply those projects which have been waiting for some mismatch, some planning, some mismatch, as a result of which none of them could get completed. But when, a, when there is a responsive government and when there is a state government which is willing to move fast, we work together and I am very grateful to the government of Karnataka for being quick in their response, understanding the need of the people here. Grateful particularly to the Chief Minister who pushed all his weight. He really pushed all his weight in his own way, presumably without hurting anybody. And as a result, things moved. So I have only furthered the ambition of the Prime Minister that no developmental work should be affected. We should facilitate everything in such a way that people get the benefit of proper roads, proper drinking water, proper public transport. So I'm sure the ministry will work together with the chief minister, with the deputy chief minister and the entire government of Karnataka to ensure that the people of Karnataka, people of Bengaluru city will not be put to any further inconvenience. The works will be done in time. Jai Hind, Jai Bhat. ಸಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕವಾಗಿ ನಂತರ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಗರಕ್ಕೆ ಕೇವಲ ಒಂದೇ ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಧಾನಸೌಧ ಸಭಾಂಗಣಕ್ಕೆ ಬರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮುಖಾಂತರ 
ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲಾಖೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳನ್ನು ಆ ಸಭೆಗೆ ಅವರು ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಆದೇಶವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ಇಲಾಖೆಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳ ಮುಕ್ತವಾದಂಥ ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಅವತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಗೆಯನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಂಥದ್ದೇನಿದೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಅದರ ಒಂದು ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಇವತ್ತು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಗರದ ನಾಗರಿಕರಿಗೆ ಅವರಿಂದ ಇವತ್ತು ಕೊಟ್ಟಂಥ ಕೊಡುಗೆಯನ್ನು ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾ ಸೀತಾರಾಮನ್ ಜಿ ಆನ್ ಬಿಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸಿಟಿ ಸಿಟ